Hey guys, as I come back from injury, I really need to focus on monitoring my training load so they're not doing too much and overloading my Achilles before it's ready. I want to show you how I monitor my training load and the training load of athletes that I work with. A lot of people rely on time and distance to monitor how much training they're doing. But those metrics only really tell you how far you went or how far you've gone. There are many ways to measure training load and my go-to is training peaks. I've used training peaks forever and they have some pros and cons but for now I'll just show you how I use it to monitor my training load and the training load of the athletes that I work with. Training Peaks uses a system called Training Stress Score or TSS. All you need to know is it's a made up number that takes into account the duration of your session and a measure of intensity, the simplest being pace or speed. Training Peaks looks at your threshold which is the max speed, pace, power, heart rate you can hold for one hour and then looks at the duration and intensity of your session and compares the two to give you a training stress score. That shows the impact of your training session. As an example, you have a threshold of 200 watts. That's the amount of power you can hold for one hour. If you were to go out and hold this power for one hour in your workout, you'd get 100 TSS units. If you went out and held 100 watts, 50% of your threshold for one hour, Training Peaks compares the two and sees that it's 50% of your threshold. So now you get 50 TSS units. If you held 100 watts for 30 minutes, you would get 25 TSS units. 100 watts is 50% of your 200 watt threshold, and 30 minutes is 50% of your one hour threshold. Obviously, as you start to incorporate intervals, the calculation gets a bit more complex. If I've lost you, that's totally fine, all you need to know is that training stress score gives you the impact of each individual workout. Why is it important? Well, I could go out and do a super slow warm up, a 10k race or time trial, and then a super slow warm down, and that may give me 15ks in one hour. If I was just looking at time or distance, a one hour run or a 15k run doesn't look like that much. However, I did an all out 10k. That's as challenging as it gets. Therefore, we need to know the impact of each workout so we can get a true idea of if our training is increasing, maintaining, or decreasing in training load. Using Training Peaks and the Training Stress Score function, I'm able to track my training load and the training load of the athletes I work with in more detail. 